Hey everyone, welcome back to Loud Quiet Vids. We're here today to talk about the movies of 2021 with the Oscars coming up. My prediction for actor is Will Smith in King Richard. You wanna check on the kids? Let's check on the kids. We got future doctors and lawyers, plus a couple tennis stars in this house. I just really liked his performance because it, it feels like it was a type of role that I haven't seen him play before. Um, he's playing a little bit older, I think, and you know, more of like a father. A little bit older. I mean, he's the same age as um, Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I also, though, would not be upset if it went to Andrew Garfield for Tick Tick Boom. I really thought he put his whole heart and soul into that role, and I thought he did a great job. And I didn't know he could sing like that. And over and over and over till I get it right. I um, think that it will go to Will Smith for, for King Richard. I just think, like, I don't know. I just think the Academy is like, oh, it's time to give this guy an Oscar. And not to say that it wasn't a bad performance. It was a really good performance. It's the type of movie I think that a lot of acting uh, categories are sometimes awarded to. M mainly, he was pretty calm throughout it, but he did have his intense moments in the parts of the film that called for it. Uh, he's deserving of it, but I would give it to Andrew Garfield for Tick, Tick, Boom. Um, just because um, there was so much emotion in that performance. The story is really as much as of the movie as as the songs. Uh, it seems like we're three for three on this one because I went with Will Smith as well, even though I haven't seen this movie. Uh, for similar reasons Steven said, just because he's one of our biggest movie stars and he hasn't won an Oscar, so hey, let's throw him a bone. And as far as who I would choose, I don't know. It's a particularly weak year in this category for me. Like, I liked Denzel a lot, but do I really want to give him a third Oscar for doing Shakespeare? Uh, if I did choose Andrew Garfield, I feel like it'd be more of like a culmination of all his recent work. Like, I actually thought he was the best part of Spider-Man, in all honesty. Uh, so, yeah, it would be between Garfield and Washington, in all honesty but I think Will Smith is gonna win as well. Actor in a supporting role. Um, so I think Cody Smith McPhee for Power of the Dogs, that'd be my prediction of who I think will win if they start off with supporting roles as like the start of the Oscars. I think they'll start off strong with him. Um, he gives, you know, more of like a subdued performance, um, very like low key. You could see anger building up in him, but he never really has that intense emotional scene, but I think the fact that he has this contained performance throughout, um, and you could really see the emotion in his face, I feel like, more than anything. Um, and I do think his performance was good. It kind of creeped me out a little bit. Um, <laughs> but I guess I think that's kind of the point. I would go with J.K. Simmons just because I love when J.K. Simmons just starts screaming and going nuts. Because um, it reminds me of, uh, what's the drumming movie? Whiplash. Whiplash. He reminds me of him going nuts in that. And I Have thought, you watched um, Invincible yet? No. Where he plays the homicidal Superman? No, I haven't seen that, but I just love J.K. Simmons ever since Juno. <laughs> so I would give him another I Oscar. I mean, what about the Raimi Spider-Man movies? Where I've seen those, yeah. Jason? And, you know, I love I love him in those, too. I think it's going to be between Troy Kutzer and Coda and Cody Smith McPhee in The Power of the Dog. And I'm gonna give it to, I hope I'm pronouncing his last name right, Kutzer, in Coda, only because I feel like the Academy is more likely to, get to go with an older, more mature actor than a young one, uh, just because the Academy hasn't been particularly friendly to like very young male actors. His, you know. Uh, if I had to vote, I guess I would give it to Smith McPhee in The Power of the Dog, who I thought stood out the most in that film. Again, similar to like Best Actor in a Leading Role, nothing like really stands out to me, but uh, it's a good performance for McPhee, so why not? What little lady made these? Actually, I did, sir. My mother was a florist, so I made them to look like the ones in our garden. 
I'm gonna go with J.K. Simmons. Um, to, I know for supporting role, right? Yeah, but to your prediction or your. I guess I, I would say both. Um, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> This dog just kills me. There's no such thing as the Danny Thomas show. It's called Make Room for Daddy. Don't tell me comedy. And if little Rusty is a communist, then I'm gonna beat the shit out of a seven-year-old kid. I have no problem with that. I'm done. It wasn't like he had like so much to work with, but I just thought that he played, um, I, I don't know the, the actor's real life name, but he played Fred on I Love Lucy. He just sounds like him so much, his voice. It works even though he doesn't look like him. Best actress in the leading role? Yeah. We got Jessica Chastain in The Eyes of Tammy Faye, Olivia Coleman in The Lost Daughter, Penelope Cruz in Parallel Mothers, Nicole Kidman in Being the Ricardos, and Kristen Stewart in Spencer. Ah, uh, this can go either way. I'm just gonna play it safe and say Olivia Coleman in The Lost Daughter. Even though she just won an Oscar a few years ago, But don't bother buying another doll, it won't make any difference. You'll find it. Uh, I mean, there's some people who think Kristen Stewart might win, but this is the only Oscar it's really nominated, Spencer's really nominated for, so like, it's really hard to win an acting Oscar if that's the only recognition the film is getting. Uh, there's some people who think Chastain might get it, even though it is nominated for another thing, but still, it's not really represented enough. I don't know how many people have seen it. So I'm really just gonna play it safe and say Coleman and the Lost Daughter. Uh, if I was a voter, I would give it to Penelope Cruz and Parallel Mothers because that's a great performance and it's a very good film too. I think uh, Pedro is probably the most reliable filmmaker we have nowadays. Like he's been working for over 30 years and all of his films are worth seeing. Pobre, no digas eso. Que todo va a salir bien, ya verás. This, I think, is the strongest category, and this happens very often, that the, the uh, actress in a leading role is just such a strong category. And I really enjoyed all of these performances. I don't know if I've ever felt that way before. So the eyes of Tammy, I thought Jessica Chastain did an amazing job. It was such a, like, a weird character, but then she had this heart, so it was like multi-dimensional. This is an emotional interview for me. I just met Steve and it's like meeting him in person for the first time. I want to put my arm around you. And I want to put my arms around you, Tammy Faye. <laughs> so I think I would give it to Nicole Kidman. I think there was a lot of, um, not, not a lot of people expected her to do so well, but- I know a lot of people who didn't like her. Yeah, you know, I know. Day. Well, I, I, someone that I watched, I Love Lucy, like I always saw it in reruns. There's, um, there's Lucy Ricardo, which is the fictional character, and then there's like real life Lucille Ball. And I thought she did both of those perfectly. Copy. Let's go. We have to establish right away that I'm setting a fancy table. You don't have to explain. We'll have it to flowers him. in a vase. I'll cut one of the flowers. He doesn't care. <laughs> oh my god, Ivy. Ivy, it's okay. <laughs> to, to me, it seems like the tide is turning for a Jessica Chastain win. She won the, the SAG Awards, which I was kind of surprised about. And I, I kind of feel like there's some momentum heading her way um, into, into the Oscar, the later half of the Oscar season. I do feel like Olivia Coleman does stand the chance because that movie um, focused very heavily on her performance, her and, um, and um, the younger version of herself, which we'll get to in the supporting. Mm -hmm. Supporting also has a bit of a hot streak going. Yeah, like she, she was in The Father last yeah. year. And so she, she does have around. a lot of momentum going for her. And I think, um, so I think it's like a three horse race between Chastain, Coleman, and Nicole Kidman. Um, although I do think Penelope Cruz was great in Parallel Mothers. Um, there is so much emotion in that film. And um, she really brought it as she always does. Not to make her back upset, but I don't really think Kristen Stewart <laughs> deserved the nomination. I'm kind of agreeing with Stephen here. I like, kind of think like, yeah, I kind of think like, like I liked it, but people I were waiting, <laughs> people were waiting for her to get this nomination for so long. The Academy was like, we just have to give it to her or they're gonna come to our building and murder us. I mean, I know what they were going for, like the human Princess Diana, but like Princess Diana just had this big like presence to her. And I never quite felt that. Yeah, it well, that's felt fair. Like yeah. Kristen Stewart just playing pretend. 
I would think that Nicole Kidman is most deserving for playing those two personas. So there's a lot of dimensions, I think, to her character that she really um, pulls off. And, um, you know, so I would give it to her, but I, I think Jessica Chastain is gonna win. So actress in a supporting role, Jesse Buckley, The Lost Daughter, Ariana DeBose, West Side Story, Judy Dench, Belfast, Kirsten Dunst, The Power of the Dog, On Wanu Ellis for King Richard. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. Um, so I think and would give the Oscar to Ariana DeBose for West Side Story, AKA the bullet in Hamilton. <laughs> um, um, you know, West Side Story is a, a fun film and it's directed by Steven Spielberg. So obviously, you know, you're probably gonna get some good performances out of the, the actors and actresses in this movie. And I think Ariana DeBose stands out the most in this film. Um, her her performance in the, in the in the supporting role is really what I think stands out. Like I said, what stands out the most in this film. Um, she's very vibrant for a lot of the film and then she kind of has to turn that vibrance into a completely different role and she does a good job of like turning that switch on for 90 minutes and then turning it completely the other way around for the, for the last half hour of the film. This is probably one of the ones I feel most confident about, I would think. As you should, because I think she will probably win too. Uh, I haven't even seen the film yet, but it really seems to be a locked category. And also, if she does win, it'll be the third time two actors have won for the same performance. The other two being right. uh, Pacino and Brando playing Vito Corleone in Godfather 1 and 2, and uh, Heath Ledger and Joaquin Phoenix both playing Joker and mm -hmm. winning for their respective films. Uh, who I would personally vote for is Jessie Buckley in The Lost Daughter. I thought she was the best part of that film, and she's one of the best like young actresses we have now. I bet you know it by heart. In Italian. I'm going to agree with Steven um, that it will go, and you also predicted that it will go to Ariana DeBose. With this adaptation, they added some layers to her, which I also enjoyed, and I thought she knocked out of the park. So I would say she would also be my pick as well. All right, so we want to know what you guys think. What were your favorites from last year and what are your predictions? What are your least favorites? What shouldn't have been on here? We'll see you next time.